there folks, Barry's Best Honey, I'm Mike and I do bees. Back on another whirlwind adventure, I guess. Nah, not really. It is April 23rd at 9.15 in the morning at 74 degrees and humid. And I'm on my way into town. I'm gonna take you through some bees, tell you where we're at, what we're doing, and uh, show you where the where the bees are as far as, you know, making honey and making brood. But there's not much going on. Not a lot of manipulations, but I do regret not taking you yesterday because they're starting to really fill up some honey supers and things are looking nice. Um, and anyway, uh, we're gonna go through there. I'm gonna show you what we're doing and we'll get some work done today. And uh, it's, uh, it's getting to be another exciting time in the bee yard. All right, let's get into town, and we'll go from there. All right, folks, we are here in town. Once again, I know, I'm going to take you through the home yard, but um, I did a lot of work out here last week and added supers and bees. Oh, man, I forgot my weed eater again. I keep meaning to bring a weed eater out here. But the bees are looking good out here. Um, I shouldn't have had any problems with swarming out this way. Everything looked good last week, so look at them flying. Oh, they're busy. Wow. And they are, if you look down in these little flowers, these bees are working these little purple flowers. I don't know exactly what weed that is, but they worked, they worked, I was out here last week, there were a lot more. This is the only place I'm seeing them. I'm not seeing these near the house. I don't know what they are. They're up in the grass. Maybe you guys know, but they work them hard. I don't know what they're getting from them, but they are working them. So these bees down here, um, we pretty much went through. Nobody was, I think maybe the end was threatening us swarm possibly. But down here really, we've been doing pretty good. Um, and overall in the entire yard, we're doing good. I haven't had any major swarms uh, and that's good. And now we're turning the corner and putting honey in supers, which is really, really keeping them down but the issue with that now is going to be what's critical now for me in this area is the privet is getting ready to hit um there's there's a lot of blackberries out and dewberries and all that stuff that's coming out in clover so they're filling with that but the privet's going to hit and the critical thing now is having enough supers to make sure they always have space because i don't want them filling up and then moving down in the brood nest then we we start to get back into swarming again so once they turn the corner, you want to keep them going that direction. And that's my goal. That's that's how I do it. Although I had something swarm in the yard. I don't know what that was all about. Check it out. Guys, I want you to see this. I've put this box out. Okay, I went and took this down. Y'all saw the video. I took the bees out of it. Set it here. And it's been here for three days. Well, I haven't put any smoke on these scows, so I don't know how bad they're going to be, but I did suit up because I didn't put any smoke on them. And I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm just blown away. This is a three-day-old nest. It's built this frame, this frame, and that frame. Okay, I'm going to leave them alone because I don't want to hurt the queen, but I say to myself, because I always put something out by my barn. You just never know. You know I mean, it's good to keep stuff here. It's not a huge swarm, don't get me wrong. It's one, two, three. Uh, I put it up on my barn because I always like to have something. Let me close them. And I'm gonna strap it back together. But I always stick a box or leave equipment out near my barn. You, you know, just in case you get one that gets away. Um, yesterday, so the bee showed up literally within a day of putting that box there. I saw him yesterday, thought, well, that's just Maybe there's some old honey in there or something, but no, I thought, no, there's nothing in there. That's a, that's a swarm box, old trusty. So I stuck trusty there, and I went out and inspected all my colonies. Uh, went through every single colony yesterday, except for five over there, which are brand new splits, and uh, one, one over there. That could be the only one that swarmed. Nobody had sales. I don't know what that's all about, where it came from, but it came within two days. Only other one I could think it is is if it's one of these nukes 
but I went through all the nukes yesterday too except for one and I just put cells in it seven days ago could it have swarmed with a virgin could that be what that is I don't know um, and when I did see all those bees around it, I thought, well, that's a lot of scouts. It's a swarm gary move in. So when I went to inspect colonies, I looked in every tree, looked around, didn't see anything. It could be one hiding, but the only one I could think is if it's one next door that I haven't been through. But I did pop the top on it, and they were all there. I mean, it was full. Supers were being filled. I even reversed the supers and undersupered it because it was so full of bees. And so I don't think it's that one. Beats me, guys, but within... <laughs> See, that's so trusty, but, but within two days, they caught a swarm here at my, my, my shed. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it came from. Now I gotta, I think I'll take it in town when I get it established, but I'll leave them there for a while. They're fine, they ain't hurting anybody. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, what am I gonna do with those bees? Yeah, that little swarm, I, I have no idea where it came from. Honestly, I honestly went through every single colony. It may have been one of mine, I'm not saying it's not one of mine, but I sure didn't see who it was. Could have been somebody from next door because um, I didn't go through all of those yesterday but I'm gonna finish those today and I'll find out but so far I've been very successful and happy with that and got a lot of them turned around the corner and putting honey in the supers and hopefully we'll see that today here and take a look that's kind of the goal is to just tip the top tip the bottoms and after this it's no more really looking for cells once I see numbers in there I, and I've got space in the supers I don't, I don't go through the bottom deeps anymore I just continue to super and give space and extract in a couple weeks maybe three weeks or so and then put supers back on that's the goal and i say it once i say it twice i say it a hundred times i'm not here to do a how-to video i'm here to do a how i do video what's working for me my experiences but anyway it's a vlog it's just what i'm doing and tracking through my year as you guys that have been following me for a while well know and any of you new viewers you know because there's plenty of how-to videos out there and some really good ones out there this just isn't one of them <laughs> I don't, I don't want to tell people what to do and how to do it because I'm new at this too. I've only been at this now 10 years and it's, a, it's still a challenge. All right, let's get busy. I've been yakking way too long. Seeing where we're at with space. Are they utilizing the supers yet? You know, this one I know they are, at least in the first one. Uh, are they utilizing the space that I'm giving them? And that's what we look for really quick. So I can look in this one and tell you right now they're not. They're repairing this one. See, they're repairing it. If taken out, this is all old, it used to be brewed in here. They're fixing it. They're loud, that's not always a good sign. Could they have swarmed? Who knows? Very well could have. This is a big colony. It's having issues with this one. But there's something in this one. Not much. This one, on the other hand, if you look, I'm seeing. Oh, you know what? I took I took a lot of bees from this one. I don't think they, they shouldn't have swarmed. That doesn't mean anything, though. But they're all up in here, so let's see what those look like. So I'm kind of looking, what's the nectar situation looking like? I'm surprised these aren't further than the ones at home. She's been in here. That's completely bone dry right there. They're already capping this. So that tells me the queen's been up in here. And that's okay. I'd rather have her here than swarm. Anything that has brewed, yeah, this one's not filling up like I thought it would. Anything that has brewed will get separated off. This one's full nectar, no brood in that side. And this one's not filled yet. So, taking the numbers away has slowed them down. So I'm not even gonna go through any more of those. Gonna look and see if we, if we swarm. And remember, I put different frames in here. So it's very light, very light colony. So there you go, Amy. Now, not a ton of bees. Again, I split a pretty good nuke off of this one. Um, no swarm cells. If they had swarmed, we'd have swarm cells. We don't. I mean, we have cups, but they're, you know, you can, you can open those. They'll, they'll, up through June, man, these things will be there. And yeah, you look, there's, I think there's an egg in that one. But nothing in the rest. Yep, nothing there. And you see me do this over and over. This is what I do. I do check these. But they're pretty much bone dry. Some of them I just shine a light and don't even open them and crush them. But these cups be there all season long through uh, summer. Then summer, they'll quit building them. They'll build a few, but... So, nothing in these. So the bees are still here. 
So then, I, well, then what I'll do really quick, again, I'm not showing a how-to, I'm showing you how I do. If you learn from it, that's great, that's your business. Uh, don't blame me if something goes wrong, though. So, that, so the next thing I'll do, let me get my smoker. There we go. Next thing I will do is just check a quick look. I just take a quick frame out and look, see, I see eggs. Single eggs, I could stop there, but it is a lazy day. I do want to see one more box, uh, frame or two over. So I'll take my next frame out. Very light, which is a good thing, I meaning they're not packing honey in. And when I took a, a, a nuke off of this, the nice thing is, is they're leaving it open and they know they need to grow. So they'll grow big. Oh, full of larvae. Matter of fact, let me look. Maybe see the queen right through here. Full of larvae. So our main tallow flow is three to four weeks away. Privet's coming in now. No reason they shouldn't grow up beautifully for the flow. And they've already got a little bit of nectar for the second super. I won't put another super on them just yet because I'm kind of low on supers. So that's it. I want to make sure they're utilizing the space they need to. They have enough as I see the flow coming and that they're queen right. And then we're done. As the flow picks up, this has got some weight to it. As the flow picks up, I won't even sweat the queen, work, queen right part. At that point, there shouldn't be any cells on the bottom provided there's space and they're filling it. So all I'll do then is just check supers, which hopefully is next week is what I'll be doing there. Hopefully we're at that point. We'll leave them like that and go with it. In case we don't see another queen today, because I just checked two or three frames to see if we're queen right. This is on the next hive over, next colony. Here she is, tiger stripe. Always like, see queens? I want to show you the queens. She looks happy. She's laying like crazy in this frame. I'm gonna slide her carefully back in. Don't harm her. All the day on this one. Queen right. No cells. Starting to utilize space. A little bit of brood in the super. That's it. That's what I do. It gets easier as they become more stable with swarming for me. I can just quickly look. I notice a lot of them have turned a corner to where they're really not trying to swarm too much. So we can we can get it's a little easier to just take a quick look. No cells. I look at these supers too, because sometimes if she's like she's putting a little brood in this, and sometimes they can build cells. So if I pull a frame or two and see there's a brood spot that they're starting to lay i look at the bottom too because she'll put cells here no cells i'm happy I'm, I'm gonna like i say pull two or three frames check if they're queen right boom done then like i said once this flow starts i won't be checking for queen right i won't even be checking for cells I'm going to be checking for space because last week and i'll look at my notes last week we pretty much went through with very few trying to swarm this week at home seemed like none that were trying to swarm and that would mean next week once the flow starts i'm pretty confident i'm not saying it won't happen i'm pretty confident they won't be building swarm cells they'll be filling nectar now if i don't give them space very quickly yes they will begin to they will begin to build cells because they'll backfill the brood nest that's where i've got to just be really diligent every single hive that's got supers open it see if they're filling it up uh, make space in the super certain ways under super possibly different things um, i can tell you right now they're drawing comb on this light. Well, it's not light flow, there's something coming in, but on this little bit of a flow, and I'll show you, I just experimented through a couple, maybe two or three supers with rewax foundation that I did the tire brush deal with Dirt Roost. I texted him this morning and told him how great it's working out, but I brushed them off, and granted, they're cleaner than brood frames, I know that, but waxed them, put them in, and they're drawing them out. Here's a picture. Yeah, that, that thing, that whole super's drawn out. There was one that I put on the nest they drew out. There was one I put above another super. They've already worked on that and drawn it out. So they're drawing super. So now is the critical time to just be sure they got the space to put the nectar in. I couldn't help it. Next one over, second frame in, another queen. So this is that one that had super growth and i am not kidding you this is the one that had she is a dynamo i want to put her back boy we don't want to damage her 
I want her in a safe location when I get this frame back in. I don't want to roll, squish, do anything to her. This is that one that's got an incredible brood pattern. They filled this thing completely up in 10, 12 days, which is normal uh, if there, there's any kind of flow, but there hadn't been, and I haven't been feeding. But man, what a queen. She's got that laid in, laid in. Give you an idea. If you haven't watched the other video, look at that. Look at that. So this one was split, double put on, probably about two and a half weeks ago, and they're absolutely exploding. Not filling the nectar into the supers just yet, but there's still a lot of space and a lot of bees coming out. It will be soon, I'm sure. Not seeing a ton of nectar in these, but you gotta remember that one I pulled, pulled a good nuke off of. So they're still building their workforce and they got some nectar. This one grew up from a single. Uh, a, it, was, it wasn't split, it was growing from a single and growing all the way up each step of the way. So it's not, you know, it's still building the workforce and they've got about four or five frames of nectar. And then this one, was a split We've already got nectar in there and she's exploding this is going to be one that will have to have about four to five super stacked on it or they'll they'll be gone yeah the bees are all over this purple stuff look at the look at the dewberries this is one this is the ones they call dewberries look like blackberries to me don't know the difference this is something this is something i learned in louisiana i don't know yeah they my bees pollinated those now they're getting on these things, whatever these are. They're only down here. I don't have any at the house. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This one has a third super on it. It's empty. They're they're uh, starting to um, really clean that comb up. It was in bad shape. But this is, I went ahead and pulled this frame for I turn you on and show this. This is the second super and they're, they're fixing this and they're, you can see the, when you see that lighter wax over top of that darker wax, like this is the old, this is the new. You can tell they're, you can tell they're fixing it. And that's all nectar. It's almost cured honey if you look at it. It's very dry and hazy. That side too, fixing that. Uh, pretty much through and through here. I'm seeing that. But it's got a little bit of weight to it. And let's look at this one. Got a lot of bees and I'm seeing a lot of wax. I actually checkerboarded this. When they had these filled up, I checkerboarded them. Almost all the way full. Looking for the queen because she could be in here. There's some drone comb on the bottom. Yep, look at there. See, that's why I look for. Her. She's up in the super. I'm gonna catch her and get her out of the way. But I see that drone brood, so I'm always careful in this super. I can't just assume she's not up here. Ooh, don't drop the frame now, Mike. That slipped out of my hand. Don't drop her now. All right, we got her safe. That's what I want. Cause this is the one I showed y'all that she was in putting brood in. And I'm okay with that. It'll come out by tallow. Even if I have to shake them down and put an excluder in, I will get this one cleaned out of brood and it'll be filled with tallow. And right now, as it stands, it's filled with a lot of light, early spring stuff. I'm not gonna tell you privet because I don't see it blooming yet. There's the brood. That's why I'm careful. That's not a huge patch because every bit of the rest is nectar. Let's see what the next one over looks like. And I'll let her right back in here. I don't mind her being in here. It's okay. All right, this one, very small patch of brood. I mean, a very small open drone brood right there. So, the rest of it's nectar. Same here. A bottom. So, that's not as much. Let's see what the next one looks like. Let's just take a look. See how much we're going to have to deal with. Because they'll back. They, they, look at that. Full. Completely full of nectar. No, no brood whatsoever in this one. So, what, two, maybe three frames with some brood? I can live with that. I'm going to the outside, what are they filling out here? Filling it completely full, even to the outside, guys. And I did checkerboard some of this, so maybe I got some brood out here. Let's make sure. I might have some brood out here. <laughs> no, all honey. Out here, did I get brood out here? Because I put, again, I moved these. Yeah, see, I checkerboarded them. So there is three frames, three solid frames with a patch. I thought I'd checkerboarded them. See? So, three frames with some brood. Uh, let's check this one. Nope, all nectar. All nectar. Good. Since I'm this far down, I am going to check the bottom. Uh, see if she's trying to swarm on us. The rest are just cups. Cup. There's some long ones. Bone dry. 
Ah, I messed that one up. Uh, it's dry. Oh, sorry, B. Yep, dry. So, they're not trying to really go anywhere at this point, don't look like. Yeah, all of them are dry. We're good. Keep giving her space. Yep, dry. We're good. So, there you go. And that is a box of, or two of bees. It is a box and two of bees. No, it is two boxes of bees. There she goes. Had to move it a little bit. See the love bug? Love bug. But, Mr. Ed always says when you see love bugs, there's a flow coming. I've been seeing love bugs and there's a flow coming. All right, time to move up front. Uh, things look good back here. Um, not, not as far along on that one as I thought it would be, but because they're normally, they seem like they're further ahead down here, but apparently some of their privet isn't, so who knows? You know, it always keeps you jumping. If, if it was easy to figure out, everybody would be doing it, right? Now, these are the hives you've seen many times up front. Uh, it's really, the one on the very end, it's, I got a super on it, but just, just in case they explode out of the clear blue and I get a huge emergence. The second one uh, was a split, so it's, it, you know, it, it didn't recover as fast versus that split that just blew up. But I've only got one super on it, so I gotta go check it. And that one blew up at the last minute. Reminds me of how Russians do. And very well looking at my notes and where it came from, that could have been one of my hives that, uh, or colonies that had some Russian genetics left in them. They'll blow up at the very last minute. They're not hoarders. Like Italians, they're misers on honey. And when they go, they go. So that could have been the case, but they blew up quick, so I have to look in there. But these, these outside of those three, these three aren't near as strong as in the back. Um, that one there, I think I want to say is one of the strongest ones out here. And then that one was just loaded with bees. And I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see if they've gotten up in the supers. But I'll be doing the same thing out here as I did back there. So I'm not going to drag you through all that. I'm just going to take a look. And if I see anything crazy, I will show you what I find. Um, other than that, I'll give you an update on what I find. This yard has been... Um, it got crazy for a little while, but then it stabilized pretty well. All right, let me look at these real quick. I'll get back with you. Look at this. This is, I mean, this is what you want to see. Talk about what you want to see. Now, they do have a dome of honey on top. That's not the end of the world. That was another thing I, I didn't tell y'all. It's just because it's automatic what I look for. When I'm looking in those colonies that we went through earlier and I'm, I'm going through to see real quick, see if she's queen right. I'm also looking, like I may go one or two frames in even though I see eggs, just to kind of see if I see empty space. I want to see if they're backfilling it with nectar. Are the supers effective? Are they utilizing them? Or are they backfilling the nest with nectar? If they're backfilling the nest with nectar, we're in trouble. So here's what I was seeing at the house a lot of. Every frame across here. This is an explosive colony. I don't, I need to see which ones these are, where they came from. But we're talking about some pretty full frames of honey. Look at all the drones emerging. But it's loaded with larvae. She it's wall to wall brood in this thing. So I'm gonna take about three frames of brood from her. She'll be fine with what's emerging. And the bees don't like me being in here. But I'm going to take some brood from her, maybe two to three frames. Well, that's it, folks. We got those wrapped up. Um, yeah, the one on the end, it was packed. So I ended up breaking off a small nuke. Uh, I didn't really want to, but it's packed. That's that one I showed you in that one video. It was, it was absolutely packed. So while they, they had some cups quarter the way down, two of them that had a little royal jelly. I mean quarter, I make that much. And then they had a couple... There was like six or seven with eggs, so that's definitely a sure sign. Uh, go ahead and cut them all. So I have to go through every frame, make sure there's none. I found the queen, and I looked at, man, sheets of brood, and I thought to myself, let me take two brood and, a, and an uncapped brood, and one shake of bees, and that's what I did. I didn't bust them down hard, uh, but I knocked them down some and left the two supers on. They're already putting nectar in the first super. Not a lot, maybe three frames are about uh, half. So they're going to need another super. I don't happen to have one because I used them on others. Um, but they'll be fine for a week. I'll get them out here. But they're at that tipping point to where I just need to knock them back a hair and, and get them settled in and keep them. So that's the plan. Um, 
she wasn't, they weren't backfilling their nest or anything, but she was flat putting it right back in with brood. So that thing is going to explode. It'll be fine for the tallow. Heck, it's probably going to be fine for the privet. I don't have to have the privet flow. If I, if I can get six colonies that are working the early flow, that's a great bonus for me. I've got more than that right now working it. But uh, about six with two supers each would be great because that really gets a good jump start on the harvest. But I don't, you know... I don't have to have that many so I'm not sweating it if I knock them back but I really don't want to knock them back hard other than that everything went well I mean you see they're feeling I was, was surprised the nectar here I thought it was gonna be more here it's actually not as much as I'm seeing at home but I'm seeing a, a I'm gonna walk you over to this privet show you what it looks like when it bloomed to see one that's bloomed over here now and that's what our privet looks like I don't know what kind it is there's another one I don't know that it's privet there's another one it's like a type of holly I don't see one close by but uh they call it wild yopon I think this is one right here but yeah this is blooming good and then you got this one right here that is getting ready to bloom and about that's probably about seven days away so this is the privet this is the stuff and and it can be a good build-up flow and if you're already built up it can actually be a really decent uh honey harvest so that's what we'll see but it did surprise me down here i thought the supers would be more full the bees are fine nobody swarmed so that's good but at the same note down here there are several colonies that i took bees from and nuked from and did splits on that aren't quite climbing back yet so they'll be back for the big flow they'll definitely build up during this flow and that's it for a day man it turned out more humid than uh yesterday but it, nice breeze blowing so that's nice and i think that's gonna make it a wrap we got a couple little loose ends to tie up in the bee yard at home and then uh shoot i don't even think it's lunch time yet so hey that's a good thing done before lunch on saturday Whew, i'm liking that all right, guys, well, I'm going to call today. I appreciate all y'all watching. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.